Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OWCP. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30-minute time slices. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these uh, red line annotations are coming from. And want to get things updated here as still... A lot of people watching this one, a lot of people talking about it, so we'll, we'll keep things updated here. And today was a, a boring day, but I mean boring in a bullish way. Why do I say that? Well, boring because it's not like the price exploded upwards. You know, it wasn't something like this where the price made a nice movement or something like that or even anything like that. Uh, you know, nothing like that. So it was boring. But the key thing was boring after what happened is actually a good thing. What do I mean by after what happened? Well, yesterday, you know, the, got pretty nasty. So to see the price at least just go sideways after such a, a, a nasty previous day, uh, you know, sure it's boring, but it's, in my opinion, quite bullish because, uh, you know, going sideways, I think everybody can agree, is better than, you know, the price just continuing downward. So uh, sure today the volume dropped off. Sure today, you know, the price didn't exactly make any explosive moves. Uh, but like I said, relative to kind of the context of things, uh, in, in terms of what happened yesterday, sideways action, uh, just as good as upwards price action, in my opinion. On the other front of this is from the big picture perspective, bulls are still in total charge because the price continues to maintain above that purple line, the 50 period simple moving average. And I talked about this in past videos and I, I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. From the big picture perspective, the very simplistic way to look at the chart is as long as the price is above that purple line, Bulls are in full control, bulls are in full health, no questions asked, and that remains the case. You can see that price got a little bit close to, to it right there, but did a fantastic job of holding strong and you know bounced the price back upwards. So going forward, that purple line, again, 50 period, simple moving average still remains that key level of support. Resistance wise, nothing new here to report. Still have that initial level at $2, and then after that, up there at $2.40. So all in all, sure it wasn't exciting today, uh, but within the grand scheme of things, uh, a healthy, uh, a boring but very healthy day. So it'll be interesting to see how this one closes out the week tomorrow. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.